Hello everyone and welcome to the lecture on strip plots. As usual, we start by importing the libraries and modules that we need. Import NumPy, Panda, Cibor, and Matplotlib SpyPlot. Let's start by looking at the tips dataset. We'll use Seaborn's load dataset method to load our tips dataset and we'll save it in a variable called tips. SNS that load dataset and we'll pass our tips dataset. Let's start by drawing a strip plot for a single variable. So it will be a horizontal strip plot. Let's look at the tips variable. So we'll call Seaborn strip plot method. So SNS that strip plot, and then we'll pass the variable that we want to draw. In this case, it's the tips attribute. So we'll index it from our tips dataset and run it. So here we have a horizontal strip plot for our tip attribute. So here we see a range of tips from about a dollar all the way to $10. And we can change the color of our strip plot by passing a color attribute, let's say green. Now we have a green strip plot. Okay, let's look at another variable. Let's see the total bill variable. So SNS that strip plot and we'll pass, we'll index our tips data set. We want to see the total bill. So we index it like that and run it. So here we have a horizontal strip plot for our total bill. It ranges from about $2 to about $54. Next, let's see how we can draw a strip plot for two variables. Let's consider days versus total bill. Okay, so we'll start by calling the strip plot method and then we'll pass our x and y variables. For our x axis, we'll use day. And for our y axis, we'll use total bill. And the data comes from the tips data set. Run it. So we have day on the x axis and total bill on the y axis. And we have a strip plot for each of our days. So for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And we can change the color of our strip plots if we want. So here you see that the value for the values for our strip plots are very close to each other. It looks like a single line, right? There's another attribute known as jitter. And by passing this attribute, we can see a more dispersed value for our strip plots, a more dis dispersed strip plot. Let's see an example of that. So SNS that strip plot. We have day for our x axis and for our y axis we'll use total bill. And our data comes from the tips data set. And we'll pass the jitter attribute and set it to true. Now if we run it, you see, instead of the strip plot looking like a straight line, now it's more dispersed. So that's the jitter attribute. We can also control the distribution of this jitter by passing a number instead of setting it to true. Let's see an example. So let me co let me copy and paste this. And then instead of true for jitter, we'll set some value. 
let's say 0 0.1 and run it so we have that it looks almost similar to our previous strip plot let's pass a smaller value let's say 0 0.02 maybe so it looks closer to what we had initially let's pass a value of 0 0.2 okay now it's more dispersed so you can pass different values to control the distribution of your strip plot we can also draw horizontal strip plots so if we change our x and y variables here we'll get a horizontal strip plot let's do that sns that strip plot and our y on our x-axis instead of day let's pass total bill and on our y-axis we'll pass day and the data comes from the tips data set let's run it now we have horizontal strip plots <coughs> and we can pass all the other attributes for our horizontal strip plots for instance we can pass the jitter attribute and set it to true or pass different values for our jitter for instance we can say 1.5 run it it looks like that so pass a value that will make more sense for the distribution of our strip plot so it just looks much better another thing we can do is draw some outlines for each of our data points for that we'll be passing the line with attribute let's see an example of that so i'll copy this paste it here so sns that strip plot we have total bill on our x-axis day on our y-axis data comes from the tips data set we have jitter to be equal to one and let's pass the language attribute and set it to let's say 1.2 and run it so here you'll see outlines around each of our data points okay let me zoom in to see you to see it more clearly so here you'll see some outlines and we can change this line with value let's change it to 1.5 now you can see it more clearly right those outlines versus no outline here so the difference is clearly visible okay let me zoom out we can also pass the hue attribute as we have seen with the other graphs before let's see an example of that so sns that strip plot let's use day on our x-axis and total bill for our y-axis total bill and data comes from the tips data set and for our hue let's pass six and run it so here we have sex as hue male and female in blue and green and we have each of our days we can pass our guitar attribute also and set it to true if we run it we see a more dispersed data or strip plot 